Didn't quite go to script on Barry Alvarez Day as the University of Wisconsin honored the Hall of Fame coach. A beautiful ceremony on Friday, a beautiful halftime ceremony. But as for the game itself, Michigan just proved to be the better team en route to a 38-17 win against Wisconsin as the Wolverines remain unbeaten and the Badgers fall to 1-3. We'll get some locker room reaction. We will hear from some of those taking part in the day to honor the former head coach, some of his former players, and a couple of coaches that Barry hired in the last few years of his time as athletics director. We'll also have our weekly sit-down with head coach Paul Christ. All coming up on today's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Pistol formation, Haskins behind McNamara. Baldwin in motion right to left, handoff, Haskins, no sir! Wrapped up and pulled down by Matt Henningsen at the line of scrimmage, and the Badgers turn it over to the offense as Michigan turned back on fourth and one. Wilson starts in motion to the left. They give to Haskins straight ahead, and nothing doing. Right at the point of attack, the Badgers converge. A yard at best. Jack Sanborn getting in there defensively for Wisconsin. Davis out wide to the left. Ferguson, DK, and Pryor to the right. Mertz in the shotgun. And first down, back to throw. Four man rush. Graham winds up, throws down the right seat. Tim Ray, DK, got it inside the 20 yard line. Daxton Hill on the tackle. Oh, good ball from Graham Mertz. 13 seconds left in the half. First down, Wisconsin. Snap Mertz, three-man rush, Graham throws left side, end zone deep, and it is caught by Tim Ray DK. Touchdown, Wisconsin! Oh, what a throw and what a catch as DK secured it as he hit the turf, and the Badgers are in for the first time today. You know, we want to play good football, and we're not doing that consistently, and that we've got to work on and continue to work on. We've all got to own it. Right now, I don't want us to be known as an inconsistent group, and that's what we have been. And uh, maybe that is our identity right now. We've got to change that. Play fake merge, back to throw, lines up. He's a deep right side. DK got it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Met behind the line of scrimmage and thrown down by Leo Chanel. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Kendrick Pryor. Mertz floats it deep left side. Dropped it in the bucket. There is a big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by UW Health, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. Buildingwisconsintogether.com. When you've been injured, you need the hometown team on your side. Trust us to get you back in the game. Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Lofts, proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials, and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Hard work, sweat, knowledge in your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players, no matter what you seem to be playing. You, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players in whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Injured? 
You need a team you can trust. Call Gruber Law Offices today, serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. I mean, people aren't with this team every day. People aren't. People don't see the work that gets put in on a daily basis like I do and like everyone here does and all the work that everyone puts in. And for anyone to think that, oh, look at them. They got three losses on their record right now. Oh, they're going to fold now. I mean, they're crazy. They're crazy. And um, that's not who we are. That's not what we're going to do. And uh, I'm going to be damn sure that doesn't happen. Like I said last week, and, and I tried to talk to the guys after, you can't get numb to this. You know, this, this pain on the inside that we have, we got we to gotta hold on to that. Um, the bad taste in our mouth. We can't. We can't get used to losing like this. There's. There's no way. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. And the only way that we're gonna do it is doing it together. I've been here for a while. 2016, 10 and 3, if I'm correct. Cotton Bowl. Uh, 2017, only lost one game. Orange Bowl. 2018 was a little different. 19. Um, so it's like it is a little different, but. I feel like we still got time to fix things around, just kind of with the West coming up now, strictly uh, Big Ten West opponents, just kind of focusing on that and just winning out the rest of our games and just fixing the mistakes that we're doing, not shooting ourselves in the foot with the mental errors or just the things that's been going on, just kind of figuring out a way to change that. It's, it's really frustrating to lose at home like this. I think a lot of guys are upset, frustrated, you know, with themselves. Um, you know, it's. Because we know we can be a lot better, um, you know, from where I'm coming from, we can be a lot better as a defense, and we we talk about it. We talk about being mentally tough, and we need we need to go out there and prove it every day. We got to execute better. We got to execute better in all areas. I mean, there's there's some times a day of you know on special teams, and then obviously defense because I was out there and I can control some of those things. I mean, I didn't play a perfect game. I I got to I got to play better too. So. Um, everybody across the board, again, has got to go and reflect on what they can bring to the table to this team for the rest of the season. It was definitely nice to have some momentum going to the locker room. Um, you know, just see the offense moving the ball. Um, you know, but we need, to, we need to be able to do that on a more consistent basis, and that's where we're going to work at. But we got the guys to um, make the plays on the outside. We just got to execute, just keep doing our things. Like, we see bits and pieces or little spurts there every now and then. It's just figuring out a way to have that momentum or have that same energy throughout the whole game. Been Danny and Kendrick out a, a lot of the se a lot of the games from last year. I thought you know that would be the missing piece, and we added a new addition to running back, having Chez, and then having Isaac and Isaac and um, Braylon and Jalen. I, th I thought you know all the pieces would come together and. I'm not sure what it is, um, but I, I think it'll click soon. It, it has to click soon because we can't keep going. We can't keep in games like this. I think we just got to keep punching, you know, just keep punching no matter what. If there's 30 seconds on the clock, if there's a minute on the clock, if there's still four quarters on the clock, just keep punching every play. At the end of the day, things aren't coming out in our favor, so we just can't get devastated and get our heads down early because it's a long season ahead of us. I think we can fix this. I think. I think the, it was a positive message at the end of the game in the locker room. I think everybody was, obviously we're upset, we, we wish we could, we could have won the game, but you know, there's a lot of optimism about this team. And no one's hanging their heads, which is, you know, which is always good, because that means you can move forward. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. 
What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. It's Wolf in the gun, Braylon Allen to his left. Snap the Wolf, four-man rush, chase throwing over the middle, and then it's caught by Clay Cundiff. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Oh, nice grab by Cundiff. Tough day for the Badgers, but a bright moment for Clay Cundiff and Chase Wolf. One of the fascinating aspects about sports, or you could say it about life in general, is how individuals overcome things when they're not going quite right, such as the nature in football or any other, I guess, part of uh, daily living, Paul. And I guess the, the, the first thing, and I guess in my role, I maybe know enough to be dangerous, but on the outside looking in, are things ever as smooth or as disruptive as they might appear in the outside, or is there maybe a little bit more to that? No, I think that's, uh, I think in your question, you do know more than <laughs> you, you want to give yourself credit for. And, that, and I think that there is absolutely a number of things to kind of follow up on it is that there are going to be tough times. You said it, whether it's sports, whether it's life. And, and I think that that's one of the, one of the things that you get out of playing sports. And I think one of the things that you want your kids here to gain from their experiences when you are so invested into something and our players are so invested into this team you know as everyone in the program is and you're going to put a lot of time and you're going to put a lot of work there's a lot of energy that goes into it and you want it to always go well and when it does you know i think there's a part of us that you just keep going and and it, you try to remind them and, and you try to remind yourself, you know, at times you need to appreciate that. And because you know that there are going to be times that aren't as good. And it may be we've had it happen with guys that have, you know, our team's been winning, but they've either been injured and have missed out on it or, you know, you're not winning games or, you know, something happens that whether you were responsible for it or a group of it, and that's also what's beautiful about a team is that you don't go through it alone and you have the support and you have, and then support can be encouragement, support can be challenging to you, but there's a vested interest. You know that they want what's best for you and we have to go work through it. And you, I think you put the focus on the things that you can impact the most. And that's what you have to do when things are going well and when things are not going well and I think that's the beauty of what we get to do it, it makes it hard right but it's also what makes it really good when you do work through it and push through it here in that there are a couple of teams that come to mind and knowing that every team is different but I go back to 2008 there were some gut punch losses early and the way you guys you know hit the reset button whatever it was to win four out of five to win the regular season or even all the way back to last year right after some tough games to beat your rival to, to win a bowl game. Is there a common thread with, with those two teams maybe that that this team can can build upon as well? Yeah, I think that in all of those, you know, you come back to the, there has to be a perseverance, there has to be a resiliency. I think there has to be a care for one another. And then there's also going to be something that that triggers it, whether it's, you know, finishing for a group of guys or, you know, I think the thing you're always trying to do is you want to be playing your best football at the end of the year. How can you throughout the whole season keep finding ways to improve? And, you know, you may you may be making those steps, but you're not gaining it in a victory. You may win a game and you're not improving, right? It doesn't always equal the end result. But I think that the, the common thread in all those and the teams been around and the players that have been around is there is a resiliency to it. There's a perseverance. There's a grit that comes mm -hmm. out in them. And I think it's a lot of it's driven by they generally care about each other, about the place. I think that's what, you know, when you don't do well, you feel a responsibility, not just to the team, but you feel a responsibility to those that came before us. And I think that, you know, all those things that make you feel like you're letting them down you also want to use that energy and that can also propel you and 
help get you going. I, I think Mark Tauscher maybe asked you this after a recent game. It never hurts if you have that strong locker room presence to you as coaches. You know, you will say things. Obviously, the players will look to you, but the players will look to the some of the leaders of the team too, right? Absolutely. You know, and I think that uh, all those, you know, you, you need that and you, and you have that. And I think this group has some really good leadership, you know, and, and I've appreciated the times that they have spoken up. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of times where I don't know when they're speaking, they're still doing that. And those are all opportunities. And uh, that's what this is all about, really, kind of a, where is an opportunity, what is needed, and then how do we step in and I don't want to say take advantage of that opportunity, but you have to rise up and in some ways you are taking advantage of that opportunity. You said it many times and I think it's worth bringing up again. This is the ultimate team sport, right? We as fans can look at one position or two or three, but it's always going to be more than that, right? Yeah, it is. And I think that's what's, uh, it can be frustrating at times, mm -hmm. you know, and, and been on it both ways, you know, where you've been kind of the one that's, you want to be doing more and giving more to the team and been on others where you're doing, but it still takes everyone. And that's mm -hmm. kind of the beauty of it. And it also is because it takes everyone, everyone's in some way, shape or form can be part of the solution. And I think that's where, you know, having a, a team that cares about each other, a team that's focused on each other as much as themselves, that lends it, itself to then being able to help correct it for everyone. And there's, mm -hmm. You know, you see it all the time in those teams before. Mm -hmm. You saw guys playing at really high levels for a consistent period of time, and and that example is strong, and it's great. You see it in it maybe in a game. I go back and look at the, you know, we lost a game to Iowa, but Joe Schobert was fantastic in it. And just by the way he's putting it out there, it just speaks like, follow me, I'm, I'm going, we'll, we'll be all right. And I think, that, you know, we're seeing that in, in, in this team. And we just got to keep, you just keep working and you keep going. And, you know, you, that's the beauty of the sport. And it's not always easy. And you, you know that. And you've got to embrace that. And you've got to come together. And you get to work through it together. Yeah, it's the fun of it. Uh, even as a fan to watch it, try to imagine what it's like for the players and coaches who are living it every day. You get through all that and things work out. Got to think that is uh, extra satisfying for all concerned. Stay with us. We have more to come as we continue with this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Compere Financial has always been there for our clients and communities in any situation. And our support continues today as our clients work relentlessly to feed, clothe, and fuel the world. Compere is proud to continue our strong commitment to our clients, the rural communities where they live, and to agriculture. We're here to help meet the financial needs of rural America. And we'll navigate through this together. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Mary Alvarez has had an immeasurable impact on UW-Madison campus beyond the state and in college sports. And that type of career deserves recognition at the very highest level. And I am proud to announce that in conjunction with a major fundraising campaign that has raised over $13 million for some of our university's best friends, beginning in the 2022 season, this football field where we are currently standing will be known as Barry Alvarez Field at Camp Randall Stadium. It was so special. I mean, it's Coach Alvarez's night, and to be a part of the, the name feeling event, like, that was just amazing. It really, really was. Uh, and Coach was just overwhelmed. And I gotta be honest, I've known him for 25 years. I've never seen him overwhelmed. So it was, it was really cool to have that moment and it'd be so impactful for Coach Alvarez. I'm honored. Um, I love my players. I love what they say. It means so much to me. And um, I've said this all along. I, I got into this business because so many coaches touched my life. That's overwhelming. And the bottom line is uh, that, that 
that means so much to me to have my name on this field, but to hear what the players say and to have the opportunity to see so many players come back. And uh, to me, uh, that's what I got into, got into this for. It wasn't about making money or having my name on a field or anything. And I like to win games. Now, my ass is going to win games. <laughs> we're we're going to win some games, but thank you for this. And, and, and for my name on the field, that is very, very touching and very heartfelt and very meaningful to me. You know, he's done so much for the game, for the state, for the city of Madison uh, because of the success of the football program and the energy and culture that's been around it. So as a Wisconsin kid, it's been a, it's been a dream come true to be able to play here and coach here. And, um, you know, those are things that, you know, wouldn't have happened probably if it weren't for Barry. I mean, I was a kid in this stadium where you could pick any seat you want and look at it now. And so obviously watching that transformation and that growth as this program obviously in football when football got healthy everything else was able to follow in suit uh, with other sports and facilities and those things so obviously uh, he did a phenomenal job and obviously Donna Shalala and Pat Richter for you know finding the right person for the job and uh, obviously the job Barry's done is second to none. I think you could go back to the initial press conference there was something different about coach Alvarez he had a swagger to him and a confidence in himself, but more so a confidence in what he was walking into. You know, when you get a guy that has um, the success and the personality that he has, to come to our place, see what the potential was, and then hear the plan, you kind of gain confidence in the university and its decision to bring him in. So I think that really from the first day he got on campus, you could tell he was gonna have a tremendous impact. Could you tell he was gonna have an impact you know, that would last this long and that would carry over into not just football, but the entire athletic department, you probably would have said there's probably not many people that could do that, but obviously Barry was able to do that. And I think you look at the accomplishments and everybody talks about how wins and all this other stuff. I was at the conference yesterday when the players were talking about the impact they had on the individual lives of the players. That, to me, really is what defines Barry Alvarez. Catching up with players last night and guys that you, you know, hadn't seen in a while, uh, it, it's the people that matter, and, and that's what's always mattered at this place. And Coach Alvarez is obviously the right person for this place, um, and he brought in great people, not just players, but coaches, and uh, the people made this place what it is. And so, you know, I think, you know, personally, he's had an effect on me. I mean, that's why I'm a coach today, is because of the relationships I have with my coaches. And uh, I think, you know, Coach said it and uh, has said it before, but, you know, he's thankful for the, the coaches he's had that passed the game to him. And he's done the exact same thing with, with a, a new generation of people, guys like myself and, and other guys that uh, have played for him and, and coached. Cindy and I have absolutely loved our la the last three decades here at this great university. We have so many people to thank, starting with all the football players and the commitment they made to us, to all the people in the athletic department for their commitment, and last but not least, to the greatest fans in college football. Hard work, sweat, knowledge in your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players, no matter what you seem to be playing. You, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by UW Health, the healthcare team for the Badgers. 
Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. The Badgers have their first true road game coming up this week as they head down to Champaign to take on Brett Bielema and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Kickoff down in Champaign will be at 2.30. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation from Learfield. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team with research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk, and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.